Welcome back everyone for another Retro Restore where we are going to be fixing this Game Boy Pocket. The issue with it is there were batteries that were left in it and they kind of corroded everything and the terminal on this side doesn't exist anymore. It just like rusted through and fell apart. And for a few bucks on a place like Handheld Legends you can get replacements so it's kind of convenient. So we removed the battery cover already. We're going to take out these six tri-point screws in here. Then once the screws are out, the back part just pops right off. Right there you can see the nice corrosion that happened on that. It was pretty common with these old consoles. People would have batteries in them in the 90s and then just like put them away in storage and those batteries would explode over time. So the next part with a Phillips screwdriver, we're going to remove these three screws here. And just the thing to note, an easy way to tell on here, the spots with the screws have the little green circles around them. So then on the top of this, we'll gently move these little ribbon connector parts up. Also, we can remove the little power toggle. Then lift up on the board here. And while pulling the board, gently remove the ribbon from up there. So it's a little dirty on the board here, but for the most part, you can see that nothing really got through and damaged the board on this side, so that's good. So what I'm going to do on this part is use a Q-tip with some 91% isopropyl alcohol and just kind of clean this part of the board, including where the buttons go. It's always good anytime that you have this apart that you at least clean any of these spots for the buttons touch because those are the parts that can get kind of gross easily. Then with the dry side of this, we'll kind of gently wipe off the speaker area, just get all that dust and stuff off of it. And now we're to the fun part here. Might get a little noisy. I'm going to turn on my little exhaust fan for desoldering this, but we have these two spots right here. We need to remove all the soldering, so we're going to use some desoldering wick on those. Put this on here. There we go. We got the solder removed from those. So we'll flip this over and then pull these out of here. So it's taking a bit more work to get this bottom one out, but almost have it done. There's just a lot of corrosion around it. Those are all out now, so we're going to clean the board again. In the process of doing all this, the speaker just kind of uh, popped right off. So going to uh, get those spots cleaned and get it reattached. For cleaning, we're just using the isopropyl alcohol and a Q-tip. So now we're going to attach our new battery terminals. This long one goes in up top up here. So then with that one in place, we'll take our other one and slide that in place. So there we go. Just need to flip this over and solder these both in. We'll just add a couple small globs of solder on here really fast. Did that on each of those and then just make sure they are in place correctly. And then once they're good, then just fill them up with solder. Once those are good, what we'll do is get the speaker put back on. So the speaker hooks through these two holes and is, and is connected on this side over here. We'll just remove the solder on this part, then get the rest of the cables out of there, and then we will feed these cables back through and re-solder them. Okay, we got the wires out. You can kind of see through there now. We'll get it cleaned up really fast. Then we're just going to use some wire strippers to take the tip of this off so we can feed it through the board and then re-solder it on. Then before sending our wires through, we're just going to tin them up a bit. Then with holding the board this way, you want to make sure the speaker is face down and then feed those through the hole. Then my camera is kind of junk, so I can't really see this that well, but the wires are through. We are going to just put a little bit of solder around them. So then to see the close up, we have our wires back through. Then we get to put this all back together. So we have the front plate there. All the buttons are on there. We're going to align the speaker then put everything in place there. Get the ribbon cable reattached. Then we'll take our power toggle and put that back in there and put those three Phillips screws back in on each of the little green circled areas. Then with all that back in place, we'll put our back cover back on here. And I can see battery terminals through there, so that's looking good. Then we'll use our garbage tri-point screws and shell put back together. Screen's just a little gross. We're gonna use a lens wipe to get that cleaned off. Make sure it's in the off position and then put the batteries back in here and the battery cover on, which is a rare find. Then we'll pop in lock and chase and see what happens. There we go. Just had to adjust the contrast and try and get it just right. There we go. Yeah, sound is working really well. The buttons are working on here, so 
yeah, those are good start works. So I think we are good. We have a nice fixed Game Boy Pocket now. It can actually power up and, and has sound. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you enjoy this kind of stuff of fixing retro consoles or in some cases customizing them, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed this, then please leave a thumbs up on here and leave any comments, anything like that. Let me know what you would like to see next on a video. I want to thank you for watching. Have a nice day.